everybody and welcome to the weekly fix as always i am neil out of the rumor mill this week uh honda may be kicking out a smaller africa twin uh can mx3 platform is winning race titles left and right and ducati v-twin motor we got an update for you And if you're watching this on YouTube and for some unknown reason you're a first timer, please make sure you watch this every week because we try to give you the latest and greatest news in the power sports world. And of course, please click and subscribe so we can keep making these videos for you. So ever since Honda brought back the Africa Twin a couple of years ago, it's been a killer bike. I mean, everyone knows the racing heritage and what that bike stood for. So, as we also all know, there isn't really a smaller CC version. It goes all the way down to the 250 and of course the old school 650. But it looks like they may be entertaining the fact to make us a smaller version. Will it be the 750 Parallel Twin? That's probably their most popular motor. But don't forget when that bike first, first came out, that was the XRV 650. So maybe there's some hope for that too. But regardless, you see with KTM, you see it coming out with everybody else. Everyone's making that mid-sized bike. Honda knows they got to do it. And if they can keep that under the Africa Twin banner, it's a no-brainer. That thing sells like crazy. So when Ducati released that V4 Monster, the Panigale 1299, everyone got a little worried is what's gonna to happen to the V-Twin? Well, thankfully they have kind of given us the facts that at least till 2020, and that's the projection uh, build date on those, V-Twin is not going anywhere. Because don't forget, that's the motor that sits inside the 959 and some of the lower models. So reading from what they told us and everything else, in, in really a very quick phrase, the V4 ain't cheap. It's double the production time, double the build time, double the cost. So. They're, they understand that 1299, that's going to be the premier guy. But for all the rest of us and for track racers, uh, probably across the U.S. and everywhere else, that V-Twin is going to be there. And it's going to be here for at least a few more years. So take a deep breath. We're okay with that V-Twin. So Can-Am once again strutting their stuff with that beautiful X3 platform and they did it this time in three different race series. So first off, Best in Desert, one of our favorite ones and kind of a local series for us here in California, Mr. Phil Blurton from the Can-Am No Limit Racing Group, Pro Production Turbo Class, he won that. So that's one for X3. Two, one that everybody knows, the Score Racing Series. Mr. Mark Burnett with the Burnett Monster Energy Pro Forced Induction Class. He won that too, so again, that's a huge series to win. And last but not least is Torque or the Off-Road Championship Series. That's Kyle Chaney. He won in the Pro Mod class. Now keep in mind, there are a lot of classes, as we all know. But regardless, this gets a big, a big foothold, I think, for these guys to show that the platform is legit. Um, and I also like it because that just means Polaris, you have something to build off of. I can't wait to see what you guys come out with next season because we all know something's coming. But right now, Can-Am is holding those titles. All right, so you might know that we're pretty big fans of customizing fabrication, any kind of thing, make your bike or your UTV or whatever it is, your own. So this company here, we gotta give them some love. Bandit 9 coming out with a bike, kind of a uh, airplane inspired called the Odyssey. You gotta check this thing out. You can go 1400 CC V-Twin or electric, so that's pretty unique. Uh, only gonna be nine made and then that's gonna be it. So again, talking about the aircraft inspired uh, avionic design, this is actually gonna have a heads up display that'll be projected up in front of you that you can see through, just like in a plane. But uh, I don't know, I've only seen pictures. Uh, it'd be pretty cool to sit on it, check it out. Make sure you guys look for this thing online though, it's pretty badass. And no, we didn't, no, forget. We didn't forget, clip of the week. Clip of the week. 